Hey, we're in the middle of Feel Good Story Monday. Let's get more uh, more out of this one. Dismiss! Sir! Yes, sir. Sir. Carry on. Today, the man who runs that camp, Pastor Charles Flowers, was arrested at his church here in San Antonio. Before he was taken away, we asked him if he thinks he's too hard on the kids. They will tell you in the end, no. In the end. If you ask them the first day. Too hard on. They, they will say yes. He wouldn't talk about the details of this case and wouldn't say specifically whether the girl was dragged behind a car. He did say his tough love approach helps teens to connect with their purpose in God. But the mother of this girl hopes he never works with children again. I think he just goes too far. Do you think? You know, and I think that there's a right way and a wrong way to get through to kids. Pastor Charles Flowers and a training assistant are charged with aggravated assault. Investigators say Flowers drove the van while the girl was <laughs> tied to the bumper. Can I say that when someone says, did you tie that child to uh, the, the bumper and drive the car? You should always say no. You should, there should never be a, well, I have no comment, yeah. allegedly dragging the child behind the van. No comment, no comment. And his name is Flowers? Flowers. Chuck, Chuck Flowers to Want his friend. doodle. Retribution. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what that was about, though. Why? He, uh, they put a rope around her, and they just kind of were trying to make her run. Probably drove very slowly. Very slowly. They were dragging her, I no, bet. It sounds really bad. And like, come on, keep up, keep up. And it's obviously something you shouldn't do, but it was probably yeah. like they tied a rope to her and like, come on, come on, and to push her a little further. And then she probably fell down, even though the, the, the truck was going like no those, miles Those hour. church groups do do some like wacky things, though. Yeah. Like, they, obviously, you shouldn't be doing that. I know those boot camp things, they get a little raw with the kids. You know, as far as that, that, but I don't know if this was like one of those boot camps or some kind of stupid church outing. <laughs> it's a friggin' church. The only answer you should have when someone says, did you drag that kid, did you tie that kid to the bumper and drive? No. Right. Never happened. That should be the only acceptable answer. Well, no. Well, I might, you know, I don't want to talk, I can't get into that. All right. Let me interrupt you. Uh, we got Craig on Long Island. He has a little cat game, too. Uh, Craig, what's up? Hey, what's going on, fellas? Hey. Uh, I like to play... String or live wire? <laughs> That's a fun one. Sometimes they get it right, other times they don't. All right, let's go to Mark in New York. Mark, what's up? Uh, good morning. I like to play driveway or a highway. <laughs> <laughs> it feels the same to his little feet, oh, yeah. little tar on his pads. Hey, that wasn't your feel-good story, obviously. I was, no. I was just kind of joshing with You were everybody. joking. I was joking with everybody. Here's your feel-good story for Feel Good Story Monday. A woman tries to console one of the owners of Harem Family Hair Care shortly after a brutal morning robbery left four women, most of them grandmothers, badly beaten. Horrible, it's <laughs> not around here. <laughs> Disgusting. Police spent the afternoon assessing the bloody crime scene, marking spots of blood and taking photos. We're told around 11 Friday morning, a man walked into the business, demanded money, and immediately started hitting three customers and a co-owner with a hammer. Oh. That one guy's laugh, uh, you know he's going to need a cancer kazoo in like a month. Yeah. He's... But that laugh is perfect. Oh, we love that guy. We got to meet him while we're down in Washington this weekend. Oh, yeah. That guy does rule. Jerry Kashuda's grandmother was getting her hair done. Uh, well, I got home from for lunch, and uh, my grandfather rushed me out the door. He said something happened. There was a robbery. Three customers and a co-owner were rushed to area hospitals. At least some had been beaten over the head. They called from the hospital, and she was awake and talking. To them. Police later found the suspected getaway She's car awake and boring a them. miles away in Wilkesbury. <laughs> it's now locked up in a police garage. What a, what a douche, though. What the hell are the old people going to do? Well, Nothing. And, that's why. And, and she said her hair never looked No, so but good. I mean, <laughs> no, that's the point of making. Why would you beat them with a hammer? What what are they going to do to you? See, my, my take is why wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you just, you know... You got to show them who's boss. Yeah, exactly. Throw into that stupid dryer. What? What did he I don't say? Know what they're thinking Fuck. at that point? That's just a psychopath who probably wanted to beat people with a hammer anyway, yeah. and this was just a chance to do it. She wakes up. What? What's she speaking? Doctor, come here. Let me let me tell you about my grandchildren. Ah, <laughs> uh, put her back in a in, uh, uh, medically induced coma. <laughs> I want to hear about your grandkids. <laughs>
old was, people's stories. I bet, Stop smashed, it. I bet when he smashed her head, her her charm bracelet wrist raced up to protect it. Chink -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling of the of the charm bracelet with all of her grandkids' names on each one. They're all, but all 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 five of them are just kind of peeking up as the hammer smashes down on that gray that gray matted head. How awful her wigs all askew, <laughs> old lady wig. I hope one of the uh, ladies uh, didn't have that see-through cotton candy hairdo where they lost hair, so they tease it up, but you could see straight through it. Because that doesn't offer much protection. No. That hammer will hoof. It's going to hit the skull that's as thin as uh, rolling paper. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. A big old lady lump. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got a couple things going I thought it was a feel-good story. It is, it, it, it is. There you go. Um, after the break, we're doing... Uh, we have a we have a special guest calling in. Uh, he wrote mm. a book called The Charisma Creator. Yeah. Yes, and uh, it's a definitive handbook for building your social skill set. Uh, it, it seems like it's it, it's uh, informative. It's funny. Yeah, it's got some uh, good advice on meeting girls. No, I think our audience is is perfect for a book like this. I, I agree. I, I think the Charisma Creator. Uh, we'll teach a lot of us how to get charisma. You know what? I want to know how did he get such knowledge mm -hmm. to put a into a book? Like, how did he get all of this? Was so, it passed on to him, or did he think it up himself? Because that's that would be really smart. Well, a lot of people are going to have some uh, questions for this author. Of course. Yeah. So serious questions. Yeah, only please today keep the from our goofiness. Audience. Goofiness to a minimum. That's right. We are uh, asking you, please, serious questions only for our author. Right. That uh, we're going to have on the charisma creator. What uh, what uh, what other things are in this book, there, Jimmy? Well, it looks like he's got a thing. There was a conversation he had with a woman on the train, uh, which he kind of wrote down from memory, but how he met her and he used humor. Uh, and, and he talks about, he thinks people should read his book twice, oh. going from cover to cover. And the second time you memorize parts, you take notes. And uh, he said that going from nothing to being a truly charismatic person may take up to 90 days of daily work. So there's a lot to get days. into here. That's odd that he's got like a, a, a schedule like that, yes. like 90 days. Aha. Uh -huh. He has a list of some of the smooth moves he used within a conversation. That's what I want to get to. And uh, on one page, he explains what humor really is, and it's more than just being funny. Mm -hmm. okay. And throughout the book, he explains how important it is to make sure conversations and dates are fun. With a capital F U N and an exclamation point. Fun! Yeah. So um, we will see uh, uh, what Andrew Kaplan has to say about this book called uh, The Charisma Creator. Looking forward and, to it. Serious and, questions. And, uh, yes. Did you do this part about the book? Andrew thinks people should read his book twice. Yes, I did mention that. Okay, good, good, good. Jimmy says the same thing, but he doesn't want you reading the same book twice. He wants you to buy a new one. I'd like you to buy two copies of Happy Endings. Happy Endings. Take one and read it, and then throw one into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody told me that I have a, I, they did a billboard for me, I think, on uh, the turnpike. Oh, that's Someone cool. Oh! I, I haven't seen it, but it I heard it. It cannot stop. possibly be the cover. It's a back cover. To get out of here. Yeah. Really? That's even worse. 60 feet of me laying there with a towel over my ass. Who did the cover for you? That's awesome. The back cover. I don't know. Someone, I got to get a picture of that. Yeah, let's get a picture of that up on the website. All right. And just so you know, we're, we're going to be in D.C. Just uh, this, this uh, Saturday, we got the Traveling Virus Show, and Friday, we're going to be at the XM Compound. Uh, we're doing the uh, what's the, the car crash comedy? Car crash comedy is a big hit. We're we're taking yes. it to Washington. It was a huge hit in Philly. So this will be our first. We want to kind of take that uh, nationwide. So so we want whoever wins car crash comedy gets to go up into a spot at the traveling virus, and uh, I, there's a way to do it. Uh, you have to email live at xmradio.com. Put Opie and Anthony in the thing if you want to come. And for car crash comedy, Sam at foundrymusic.com and tell him you want to be a part of car crash comedy. All right. Yeah, we're getting a live audience for our show on Friday. Yes. All right. When we get back. Uh, I will talk to this uh, author, yes. Kaplan, yes. Remember, serious questions only. Yeah, please. On the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah, let's get right into this. It's Opie and Anthony. On the phone, Andrew Kaplan. He wrote a book called The Charisma Creator, the definitive handbook for building your social skill set. This sounds handy. What's up, Andrew? What's going on, fellas? Very happy to be here. Hi, uh, right on, man. You got a book out, huh, Andrew? Oh, yeah. A lot of work went into it. I oh, bet. I imagine, man. I, I read it from cover to cover. It's terrific. Oh, wow. And you're, you're still alive to tell the story. That's good news. <laughs> <laughs> it, exactly. says, uh, it says that uh, you, uh, you take about 90 days of work every day to become charismatic. What, what, what led you on this uh, path, if you, if, you, if you could give us a brief uh, overview? 
Sure. Well, in the beginning, I was just doing this because I had started my own company, and I wanted to learn how to socially interact with people just for business and networking. Right. But when I saw I was figuring this thing out, I'm like, okay, well, I'm a young guy. I like women. Let me figure out this dating part, too. And, you know, obviously, a lot of <laughs> Wow. Well, it says here, Andrew, you had a very funny... Uh, what's this thing on page two here? Uh, hold on. Uh, Eric, get in here. Uh, we need our own... Eric. Oh, the, it was the uh, conversation uh, on the train, I believe, right? Yeah, it's the pre-intro conversation on the train, and I i shouldn't even say this, because I'm giving it away for free, actually. People can check that on the site and read it for themselves. So they don't have to... <laughs> oh, that's on the site. <laughs> well, we have... Uh, <laughs> what, what happened now, uh, uh, Andrew? There was, uh, you're on a train. It's a, pretty, it's a funny conversation you have with a girl named uh, Jenny. Right. And it. Uh, what's this an example of? Well, this is what I like to... It's an example of my five-minute limit pickup, where... I just, basically, <laughs> within five minutes, because we're on the train and we're coming up to my stop, I had to get in there, get the digits, and get out. Oh, uh, what do you mean by digits? Uh, uh, digits, phone number. Yeah, or, phone number. Oh, phone number. Okay, so sure. this is like a commando mission for chicks. Oh, you know it. Oh, man. We're running this like a business. I <laughs> hear you. Can we do a little bit of this? Uh, can we, <laughs> like a business. <laughs> can we do a little bit of this? This was a, a funny conversation. and I, I want to do a little bit where you read your part. And uh, we have Erica here who's going to read her part um, as, of the girl as an example of how to pick up uh, uh, girls or whatever like that on the train, how you did it. Okay, fantastic. Okay. All right, you got your script in front of you? Yeah, hold on. We need another copy. Uh, turn it to it right now. Here we go. All right. All right nice. Erica is going to read her part. Okay, and I guess just to, you know, for, for everyone listening out there, how this started was I was on a train two minutes mm -hmm. before my stop, found a really hot solid eight, Q brunette, fantastic. <laughs> solid eight, though, I got to say, that's a little young. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. I'm just being a card. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, basically, you know, I walked up, my train was coming, the stop was coming up, she glanced at me, looks down, and I noticed she has this belt buckle with the word Jenny on it, yeah. and it's, it's so loud, it's so obnoxious, and I'm thinking, all right, game on. Here we go. <laughs> see, you see that as an opportunity. You see that as her putting something out there. Oh, every everything you Horrific. see is an opportunity. Love this oh guy. man, love this guy. So, uh, all right, now you're going to read your part, and uh, Erica is going to read her. This is an example of like a funny. A funny exchange, and humor is so important to use to oh, use something yeah. funny. So what I learned from the book is humor is a big part of this. Yeah, it's, it's a huge and, part. Andrew, the one thing I noticed uh, reading your book, you're a very funny guy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I don't realize that people are laughing like, what's so funny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, um, I'm doing like Joe Pesci in Goodfellas. I'm like, do I make you funny, my clown? <laughs> oh. Wait, do oh. it again. Do it again. Do some more Pesci for us. <laughs> That's Please. all I really got. <laughs> oh, that was it? Cause that wasn't bad. <laughs> that wasn't bad. You funny, I make you laugh, I amuse you. What? Oh, wow. Wow. Holy oh, Jesus! Wait, he on. does this these is... impressions. Uh... You think it was the real person? Yeah, you know. Right. That's uh, that's this something. Cause, but we'll get you right there. But that does get uh, oh. a, a lot of uh, girls' attention, right? Yeah, yeah, impressions, a little funny things that you could do, a little quick oh. things you could uh, throw in if you don't have much time, right? Without a doubt, without a doubt. And it's kind of funny on this show. If anyone's looking for an example of uh -huh. how to operate the right way, yeah. you guys already gave him an example when you were talking to Jennifer earlier on and she says I tell it like it is yeah you called her on it yep <laughs> you picked up on that yeah you gotta go right out there right but this book ought to be called Gusto <laughs> you know what it's, oh, it's, so, it's the same idea so you're listening to the uh, the show today I guess I was listening to uh, portions of it. I was oh. getting ready for you guys. Oh, then we set this up perfectly. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, let's uh, go to uh, let's do the conversation on the train just to give yeah. people an idea okay. of what uh, what this book is about. <laughs> uh, Erica, you are going to be playing uh, Jenny. Yeah. Now this is a true story, right? True story. All right, don't be fresh. <laughs> All right. So pointing to the belt, I'm nonchalantly just saying, "Who's Jenny?" Um, that's me. I'm Jenny. Oh, okay. Okay, let me, let me, you know what, I, I apologize. Let me interject. I'll read the parts in parentheses. There we go. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you want to start Cause, over? Because that's where all the comedy is. Yeah, I, I, well, I have to, uh, this will also paint the picture for the listener. Go yeah, ahead, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Then. All right, let's go. All right, so you said. This is how the book starts, man. It starts off terrific. Well, yeah. You really do start. Terrific, right, right, Andrew? You, you jump right out of the gate, and, and I'll be reading the part in parentheses. Fantastic. All right, so she just said she's Jenny, and I'm like, oh, okay. Pointing at belt. Right, and then. Her. Like, Weird, confused look on her face. Um, that's me. I'm Jenny. Oh, okay. Pause for effect. Creating tension. Tension. Why are you wearing a belt with your name on it? Straight face. Deadpan. 
because, like, it's my belt. Oh, I see. Turn away. More pause for effect. Turn back. So it's really because you've got absolutely no game, right? <laughs> oh. That's a, that's a ballsy move. But funny, dude. What? Don't you understand me? Nervous Remember? laugh. Give the nervous laugh, Erica. What? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? You've got no game. You've never had the courage to get on a guy before, especially one as hot and sexy as me. You just broadcast your name like it's your friggin' sponsor, hoping someone will come along and ask you about it. Well, congratulations. Funny, sarcastic tone. You got me to say hello. Are you happy now? Do you feel good about yourself? Shut up. Laughs. Hits me playfully. Huge buying signal. You're weird. Uh, I'm weird. That's it for page two. I'm weird. I'm not the one wearing his name three inches above his crotch like a billboard. <laughs> you're the weird one, and you're rude, too. Hold on, dude. Let me jump in. You actually you <laughs> said that to a chick? I, Damn. Damn. What, where'd you get the balls to say something like that to a chick? I chicks? know. It was basically a year of discomfort of doing this and building it up. We'll yeah. That way. Man, right? Hold on. You are the man. All right, continue. So I just told her you're rude, Erica. Rude? I'm not rude. What do you mean, I'm rude? Well, here I obviously know your name, but did you ever take the time and effort to figure out mine? I just met you. I didn't have time to. Oh, you had plenty of time. You could have asked my name instead of calling me weird. You could have asked when you were slugging me, which, by the way, when you hit someone without knowing them, um, yeah, rude. Dude, you turned it around on her. I did? Totally. Wow, that's really... Wow. Wow. I didn't wow. even notice that. You're right. Wow. Okay, so he points out that uh, she went to, to hit someone without knowing them. And uh, Erica, go. Shut up. Raises her hand to hit me again, but is now self-aware and quickly puts it back down. She's been called. That's right. Almost like a Joel Steinberg type of thing. Right. There you go. And I'm like, aha, uh -huh. see, you were going to hit me again, and you still don't know my name. Fine. What's your name? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Hold on, non-actress. What it happened to the laughing, laughing part? Wait, hold on. Wait, let me see. I don't think I have a page three anymore. Hold on. You're fine. You have page three in your book? Uh, hold, hold on. on. Let, say, hold let me on. get you my page three. It's, it's, it says here that you were laughing because what happens is Andrew says, aha, see, you were going to hit me again and you still don't know my name. And you're laughing at his, um, his page joke. Page 78. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Now start do it right. Fine. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, I'm not just going to give you my name. What do I look like to you, a Jenny? You have to earn my name. Oh, my God. Squint's eyes, cocky tone. Explain that. It says squint's eyes, cocky tone. Yeah. That's really just me kind of, I guess, helping people picture, picture eyes that I'm giving attitude here. I'm really, I'm keeping a straight face. Even though this is funny, it's a good back and forth, but, you know, go between. Because I'm keeping a straight face, it adds to the level of tension and humor. And, Andrew, you could get a broad doing that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, hell so it's yeah. Kind of, it's kind that, of like how you do it. <laughs> it's kind of like you're going, what do I look like to you, a Jenny? It's kind of like a yeah. kind of like a, a Clint Eastwood meets Merv Griffin type thing. Yeah, I, I think uh, I was thinking, you know, Marlon Brando, something like that. Ah, Brando, sure. Oh, yeah. After 1980? All right, cool. <laughs> All right, I, uh, an inoculated arm in the train car. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a pu uh, go ahead. I'm, I apologize for interrupting. Hold oh, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get the chapter for here. So what were we up to? Well, I just told, told uh, Jenny she has to earn my yeah, name. Yeah, earn it with the squinty eyes and cocky tone, uh, Jenny. What? Uh, how, how the hell do I do that? Handing her a pen. Your email and phone number. Right now, lady, I'm going to rush here. What? Uh, I... Ex no, 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 well, no. Hold on, let me explain. Rude and rude. Wait, let me let me jump in here and explain what what do you say here? <laughs> After she's like, "What I?" Because she's been taken off guard by this by this alpha male approach. Uh, 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 in parentheses, it says expecting no doubt in my voice or body posture. No, 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 no. Your info, my name. <laughs> That's, <laughs> <it>. <laughs> That's the deal. No, 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 no. That's the end of page three. Oh, yep. Okay. Now, now she says. You know what? Trying to come up with something to say. Fine. Fine. Laughs, begins to write on the back of a business card I just handed her. Why didn't she laugh? What's that? Hold on. No. It says here, like, what happened is our actress is not doing this right. It says <laughs> she laughs, 
And, and so there should be a laugh there. So read it the way it is, stupid. But there's nothing to laugh at. <laughs> Gotta read it. Fine. Fine. <laughs> uh oh. And starts writing. And I go, see, that wasn't so hard. And uh -huh. her, a pouty look. Come let's, on. Let's come see your on. pouty look. Pouty look. Oh, okay. there it is. That's adorable. I felt the pouty look from here. It's all good. And then you do shit in her hand as trains is coming to stop. I'm Andrew. It was very nice meeting you. Uh, what did you say your name was? <laughs> Get out of here, Andrew. Stretch his word out, annoyed, but very amused. Uh, uh, I'm Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. How does that work? So, yeah, this is, seems like a whole crazy thing here. Yeah, explain how that worked. Well, basically, the situation is this. Most women, if they're attractive in the least bit, are literally hit on anywhere from 10 to 20 times a day. Right. Wow. And Sid figures 99% of the guys doing it are yeah. doing it wrong. Right. They're doing what? some issue. They're now, doing what's something. wrong with the way they're doing it? Well, hold on. You say something here which I thought was very interesting. What page, Jimmy? It was on page... I don't have a page 148. But do you, well, you, you have a list, by the way, on page 206. Give us an example of some of the smooth moves you've right. used within a conversation. In the context of this conversation, smooth moves is one. Smooth I moves. surroundings. What's that? I use my surroundings. Ah, because your environment a two by four. Is providing you with opportunities. Like, yeah. like if you're behind a Planned Parenthood, you might make a stew joke. <laughs> Anything that works for you guys. Anything. Yeah. Humor is important, right? Um, <laughs> it's always important, and you never hesitate, and you always make sure it's congruent with who you are. Congruent, good word. Could you give yes. us an example, though, of some of the smooth moves that you've displayed here? Right, well, I use my surroundings, like I said. I was different, because, you know, like we were just talking about, who has, Boring. Who, who has the stones to walk up to a complete stranger, an attractive one, and yeah. tell her she's got no game? No one. Well, I'll tell you one thing, like, if you're on the train... You might want to make like a a Colin Ferguson like remark. That's a good one too. Or something like, "Hey, where, joke. where are we going on this train to Dachau?" Train. <laughs> Absolutely. If that fits into your personality, train humor. And, and that's funny. Obviously, you go with it. <laughs> sure. Train. Uh, like like you're not giving give, give an example. Of, uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Give a smooth. Look at this, a Andrew's smooth moves. What page? It's on page two oh six. Oh boy, I Can wish I could read that. Give us a couple. Give us an example yeah, here. It's gone. Well, besides being different, I also use what I like to call role reversal. Right. This sucks. Role reversal. Yeah, which again, it's another example. I guess what you Boring. for earlier. Yeah. Usually, we're in a role where if she's attractive, well, most guys are saying, "Okay, she's a goddess. I'm looking up to her." This is great, Ice T. You gotta flip the script. You gotta make a situation where you're the attractive one, you're the one she's going after, you're the piece of meat. Act like wherever you are, that's the place to be. Let me ask you a question, because it seems to me like you've got this whole thing down. Is charisma something that you'd say, because a lot of people would feel that it's, a, it's completely natural, and yet there's the other camp that would say, yeah, it's natural. I mean, are you kind of thinking that it's natural, or are you going to go like, no, 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 it's probably only slightly natural? Well, the thing is, everybody is born... No, no, that's not, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, listen. What I'm saying is... Andrew, please. Is there a connection between right. a, a personality and, and charisma, or is it something that you find... Uh, uh, to use your word, congruent, uh, as time goes on. Oh, I think it's it's a connection that you build up. The no, more not, no, 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 not, Andrew, not a con no, Andrew, no, 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 listen, listen closely, completely this is very important, very important, very important. Is there a connection between the having a charisma and, and developing some of these skills uh, uh, from the very get-go? Now right. I heard you the third time. The answer is an emphatic okay. yes. All right. Well, no, well, it, please, don't just give it. You have to, uh, you have to elaborate. You need more than a yes there, Andrew. You're well, the author. You, you have to understand that in a situation like this, uh, mm -hmm. like I was saying, everybody yeah. is technically uh, born charismatic. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not talking about people who are born charismatic. I'm talking about, you're completely missing the question here. Are people, uh, 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 could, they, could they become that way if, say, it's not like a natural inclination uh, to force something like that? Oh, right. I mean, oh, no, go ahead. You talk. I'm sorry. I was, it I wasn't was done with his question, question Andrew. Yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody hey, all right. Now, go ahead. It's all about you. I mean, who am I? Just asking some questions. <laughs> I, no, no, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. Show, and you're, right? All right, well, no, 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 but I'm, I'm just trying to, it was a, I don't it, want to be hostile. It was no, a, no, I hear you, no. Yeah, no, 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 apparently you don't hear me because you keep you're answering the wrong question. It was a two-part question, Ed. Yes, what I'm saying is, is there a way to come from, like, not that background and then yeah. all of a sudden to I'm, turn it into something right. like that? 
Yes, there and, is. All right, go ahead now, right? Just feel free to jump in whenever you want to. I don't need to finish. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, answer. Go ahead. So apparently this is a big question for you to answer. Go ahead, go. Well, yeah, yes, you can come back from it. All you have to do come is... Come back from what? Well, from what? No, from being nothing, from being question. uncharismatic, from being uncomfortable around people, from feeling like you don't have the control on a date or a conversation. No, no, but I'm talking about the humor angle. Right. Like, when you're talking about the smooth moves, we're completely on different pages here. Okay, so what do you mean in terms of the humor? That's exactly it. Like, should it be something that you start with as a natural charisma, or or will the humor kind of come naturally to a person who doesn't normally have that? Oh, I mean, it's the not second. The second thing you just said, the humor. Will no, come no, 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 no. Hold on. God, are you frustrating? Will you listen for I'm one? I'm trying. I only strip. I only I, no, go ahead. Yes, you're a good writer, you. but you're not a good listener. Yeah, it's, it's all about you. It should just be the Andrew show. People call in and try to ask a question. All right, and I'll you just talk about whatever you want to. Go ahead. It's all about you. Who was I to ask you? question maybe we should just have you come in and we go home and you talk sorry about that fellow no no no, that's all right it's about uh, you i mean we don't know what we're doing no, listen we closely for a living listen closely now what i'm what i'm saying is here on page listen closely here's the the important question go ahead jimmy now would you say that with the uh 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 uh, uh humor angle is it more important to start with that or should you more bring that home Without having done something similar, like you know, like when you first started talking, and with the charisma thing though, because that's the point Jimmy was really getting at the charisma and with the humor, right? Is that an angle that is better suited for uh, earlier right. in the process, later, midway? But without having had that normally right. as a part of it, yeah, right. gotcha. no, yeah, you definitely right with the humor. No, 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 but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, should you start that way? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay, but that's not start right. with what the humor. No, no, that wasn't even... No, no, oh, you don't God. start with the Jesus, humor. Jesus Christ. You never start with the humor. Well, Where can people get your book? Uh, create... <laughs> I, I love the don't get the question, bitch. <laughs> I love it. No, no, no. Well, why don't you go ahead and talk?